Hey folks, just a quick little video here. This is a kind of a review unboxing of the Blue Shirt Russian cards. Now, these aren't sold by uh, Sam Mustafa's company, uh, Honor Games. These are actually sold by another company, uh, Drive Through Cards. And you can get all kinds of things from these guys. They got the role playing games, uh, miniatures, rules, and cards too. And this is what you get. And so far, I'm pretty impressed. I haven't opened them, so let's take a look. Now, I bought this deck of cards, and it's 50 plus cards uh, the complete cards you need for Russians and the Blucher rules. Uh, but for an extra buck, I threw in this little hard case uh, that you can get with your cards. So it's only an extra buck, and it's pretty nice. You know, there it is. You just press on the sides here and it pops right open. So you got a nice little case for your cards. So that's nice. Uh, and here's the cards. They all got that little wrapping on there to secure them. Let's take a look and see what these cards are like. With this little card on the top, I guess that's uh, the code for the cards. Printed in the USA. And these are very nice cards. Uh, and there's the back of the flags for the Russians. Very nice. You can see what that looks like. That's the flag. Got the double head there going on. And the wedges. Very nice. And let's take a look at some of these cards. Now these are all the units for the Blucher game. And all the stats are there and it looks pretty much exactly like the normal Blucher cards. For the Prussians, the French, and the British. These are the infantry. And you got the militia there. And you got uh, guards and grenadiers, both the same stats, so they use the same card. And yeah. Steady, shock, 16 points. There's their Elan. Uh, 7 6 down to 1. Nice little picture. Guard Cav, Cuirassier, uh, Cavalry Troops, uh, more Cossacks, colorful little troops. You got the artillery, the devastating Russian artillery, all kinds. You got the foot artillery, heavy artillery, the horse artillery, blah blah. And this is nice. You got their uh, commanders and generals that you can buy from the army list. With all their special rules on the cards. Here's Totally himself. Used him a few times. And of course Kutisov. So there they are folks. These are all the guys that are listed in the army list for the Russians in the Blue Shirt rule book. All their sub commanders and Kutisov. As well as all the cards you need uh, to make full armies with the army list for the Russians, the army builder system in blue shirt. So all the cards are there, so you should have a complete set. Now they also make the Austrians as well. They just released them. Same thing, same format. Uh, but I didn't go for the Austrians. Now, let's compare these to the actual cards you get from Honor Games. Sam must have his stuff. Now, the exact same size card, of course. So, if you use little card protectors for your Blucher cards, well, they'll fit these as well. And again, here's a standard playing card in case anyone's curious. They are exactly the same size as a standard playing card here in the U.S. So, there you go. There's your Joker. Same thing. So, any card protectors that fit these, will fit these. And in terms of quality, uh, you can... They're almost indistinguishable, uh, but I could tell right away that this one is a little bit different in terms of, uh, I don't know what it's made from. It doesn't seem as, you know, it's more, they're both glossy, they're well protected. It seems more like a card than this one does. I don't know, I don't know what that is. It's a very extremely minor difference that I'm just noticing now, but it's so slight. I don't even know really if there is a difference. It's so slight. This seems more like a card. And this seems more like it has more uh, uh, gloss protection on it. I don't know. But this is definitely protected. It's 
got glossy on there. But anyway, that's irrelevant. Now here's the do-it-yourself cards I've been using for the Russians. That, of course, is the Prussian flag. And the do-it-yourself that you can print out and fill in to your leisure. Uh, but with these cards, I could slip them in the old card protector here. And there I go. There's the unit card for the Russians. So again, this is the same exact size as the ones you get normally with the 100 days and uh, till the death, ward of the death or whatever that supplement's called that Honor Games puts out for the Peninsular. I can't remember. I have it. But ward of the death, I think. But it's the same size cards. Quality is almost exact. I'm not disappointed whatsoever in these cards. Not at all. I mean, I don't think these cards are going to damage too easily anyway, but I keep everything in a card protector. So it's irrelevant to me. So these cards are worth the price I paid, which was like $20 with the card protector and 50 plus Russian cards. So there I go. That's all awesome. I like it. So yeah, I recommend it. Don't be afraid because these cards are from a different company and not... Uh, Sam Mustafa's publishing company. Uh, they're worth it. Grab them. Uh, the links are on the Honor Games uh, website where you buy Blueshare. You can get these cards at the same site. It's just it takes you to the drive through Cards website where you buy them. And it took me about a week and a half to get them. These are print-on-demand, so the company actually uh, prints these when they get your order. Uh, they don't stock them. And then they ship them out. So it took about a week and a half Two weeks, I think, would be at the most you'd have to wait. Uh, so there you go. And that's in the U.S. Uh, so there you go. Very worth it. Grab them if you can, folks. All the cards you need to play with the Russians. And I assume it's the same with the Austrians. You get all the cards you need and same quality, same production. Uh, so there you go, folks. No problem with these cards whatsoever. I'm very satisfied with them. Any differences are extremely slight. And it would only be in the texturing of the cards themselves. These have a little less uh, texturing as far as the gloss protection on the cards. But it is protected. It has got a gloss on there. Uh, I mean, it's not like a bare piece of card or paper. So, there you go, folks. That's my little quick unboxing, first look at, first impression review of the Blucher Russian card deck. There you go, folks. Hope you enjoy.